everyone and welcome back to the happy heart i'm so glad that you guys came over today to see this grocery haul and meal plan i uh, usually i do this about two weeks at a time but for some reason my uh, whole life kind of got thrown off because my kid had an ear infection last week and i realized that i really need to meal plan and see what i need from the store so i'll take you guys along this is my erin condren planner and i love this thing it was so worth the money and I love planning in it. This is March. We can flip through. And this was last week. And as you can see, I kind of uh, do my meals here at the bottom. Sometimes I use stickers, sometimes I don't. So this is my new week, and I'm going to make a plan. <laughs> overview of kind of like everything I've planned. I didn't put stickers or do anything crazy to this week just because I want to get done with it. But I go through on each day at the bottom here and I plan on my meals. And so I have a video on my chimichangas. Um, we always have tacos on Taco Tuesday. We always have spaghetti on Wednesday because um, we have church that night and it's fast and easy. I want to make this um, chicken that we put over potatoes because I've been craving it. We have small group. And then for St. Patty's Day, I want to get a corned beef. And then on Sundays, we're kind of like in and out between church and different activities. So we'll probably eat out. So now I have to make my list. So here's the part I don't normally do. I don't normally go through and check every single thing of what I need. But considering that I haven't cooked a lot last week I know I have some food so I need to check and see like what kind of meat I have and stuff like that so I don't need a whole bunch of things um, I just need a few like odds and ends it looks like I actually have a lot of meat which is awesome and so now I just make my list note though when I do um, a regular two-week haul or when I'm doing like a month of grocery shopping I always make my list in the order that it is in the store so I put like all the vegetables together I put all and the fruit and all that and then I put all the refrigerated stuff together and um, I usually do the stuff that's in the middle all together as well you know the up and down the aisles type of thing um, just I found out that's a lot easier for me but considering I don't have a lot I think I can just make kind of a regular list and be okay Are you gonna come with me to the store? All right, let's go.
from grocery shopping and, and um, of course, I spent a little more than I should have, but I did buy some other fun stuff and some entertainment stuff for our family. So um, we spent about $180, but probably if you take out um, a lot of the entertainment stuff, it's more of like $100. So I will show you guys what we got. This is an overview of my table, so it's quite full, even though my list was very small. So, Walmart sucked me in again. All right, I think we're gonna start this side with the meat. I always buy this um, organic, organic grass-fed beef, and the cool thing about this is it's really easy to open, really easy to work with, so I do pay more of a price for it, but it's really not that much more than just buying like the Walmart ground beef. Um, we got a bigger thing of hot dogs, a 16 count. I'm hoping I can freeze half of them um, because my husband got this bigger count and I already had um, a pack of buns in the freezer, but we just decided to get another pack of buns in case we needed an extra meal. I got um, this point cut corned beef, and this is, it wasn't too bad of a price. I paid $9.53 for this one, but they were anywhere from seven to nine dollars, and I know the point cut is better. My grandmother used to tell me that. I have no idea what it means though. And I got this for St. Patrick's Day um, coming up this Saturday. Uh, grabbed a huge thing of orange juice because that is a staple in my house and we had been out for at least a week. This is one of my husband's little splurges. These are his favorite, the Reese's eggs. And he bought Lucky Charms and he justified it in the fact that it's St. Patrick's Day and that would be a good breakfast. So, and it's his favorite, so. Interesting enough, we got the big one. Hmm, I wonder who put that in the cart. Um, I grabbed these Kaiser rolls because they were on um, clearance for a dollar, so I got two packs of them. But they're pretty nice looking rolls, and I saw another vlogger um, actually freeze these, and they are something similar to this, and they froze beautifully and so I'm actually gonna freeze them and probably use them next week or maybe even the week after and um, I think I can use them for rolls or maybe even bread bowls I'm not sure but I thought I could try to freeze them for a dollar I went ahead and grabbed some more corn tortillas um, because we have tacos every Tuesday and that's what I use the ground beef for too I um, went ahead and grabbed some hot dog buns I grabbed two loaves of bread because we were out basically and I usually freeze one and keep one out so um, this new Sara Lee white whole wheat has been my son's favorite lately so I just have kept buying it um, I grabbed some green onions for um, what we're having on Monday night grab some potatoes I usually buy red potatoes so this is kind of different, but I wanted to have baked potatoes this week, so I bought a small bag of Restlet potatoes. Um, bananas, of course. Um, a thing of cabbage for our corned beef, and um, a thing of iceberg lettuce for tacos, because my guys love tacos. And I use the leftover um, lettuce for salad during the week, and they'll eat a salad with their dinner always, so. My husband and my son are, are good about that. Um, I grabbed an avocado for Taco Tuesday, and this is kind of my splurge. I really love avocado. Um, grabbed pepperoni. This is kind of my splurge snack. I have really have figured out that I like just grabbing a few of these and going, and so I grabbed another pack of those. These are also one of my guilty pleasures. I love these tomatoes, and I just eat them like as a snack. Just grab one or two. And um, I also needed some for taco night as well. So I grabbed two. We get on to the snack part of it. And this looks like kind of a lot of snacks, but I'm sure this will last a while. So um, I got goldfish for my son just throughout the week. Um, and everybody usually gets to pick a snack on Friday night um, for movie night. And my son picked the sour cream and Lay's potato chips. 
He obviously won't eat them all in one night, um, but it'll be good for lunches and um, things like that for co-op and stuff this week. My husband likes these um, spicy nacho Doritos. Those are his favorite. And we actually got, this is some, another like guilty pleasure of mine and my husband's. It's the cheddar and sour cream ruffles and you dip them in ranch. I know, sounds crazy, right? It did to me too, but oh my gosh, guys, it's so good. Um, I bought these just for myself. Guilty pleasure. And then I grabbed some of these um, just to have in the house for a quick, quick little snack. Um, I did grab this Avengers bucket and it came with popcorn. So it's kind of a popcorn bucket and I thought it'd be really cute, um, you know, to have popcorn in and I just really liked it. So grabbed that as a splurge. A couple of these needed items. I really needed um, olive oil, so I grabbed some of that. Needed spaghetti sauce, um, and I always buy this same brand. I almost tried a new one, but went with my tried and true. Um, I grabbed some Colby Jack for a couple different recipes that we do um, during the week this week, and I wasn't sure if I had enough cheese, so... Um, Colby Jack happens to be one of my favorites, so, and I always buy the more shredded one, the finer shredded, I guess, just because I feel like it melts better. Um, grabbed cottage cheese. This is what I usually have for breakfast. Um, I usually make my son eggs and toast, and I usually eat cottage cheese. Um, but I was craving some waffles, some frozen waffles, so I grabbed two of those because um, my husband likes these too, and he can eat four in a sitting, so um, they go kind of fast when I buy them. I went ahead and grabbed some uh, green jello for a St. Patrick's Day fun festive dessert, and I grabbed some whipping cream. I was going to buy just regular whipped cream, and then I thought, you know what, just buy regular whipping cream and make your own, and that will be better anyway, so I went ahead and got that couple things back there. I needed some more makeup wipes. I really needed a tripod, so I went ahead and grabbed this one. It was $15, and I'm crossing your fingers that it works good, guys. Um, this is kind of our guilty pleasure. We are such movie fans in my house. Oh, let me tell you. So, we have um, here the new Thor, because it came out this week. Uh, the These two were actually in the $3 bin, and so, of course, this is a classic, right? Big. And my son had never seen it, and I thought, oh, he needs to see this. And um, I have read this book from, Nic from Nicholas Sparks, but I thought I, um, for $3, I would like to see the movie. I haven't seen it. I think I might have saw it on Netflix when it came out. I couldn't remember. But I have all the other Nicholas Sparks movies, and you know, sometimes you just get in one of those moods. And then we actually had, this is the second Thor, we had it on iTunes, and for some reason, me and my son weren't able to access it, and I was talking to my husband, and I just said, can we just buy the second one, too? So we bought that as well. So that is kind of our guilty movie pleasures, um, and we, you know, love all the Marvel movies, of course. So this is an overview of what we got. All right guys, so at the end, I actually calculated, my husband helped me, and uh, this grocery haul, if you're just looking at the food aspect of it, costs about $115, and with all the entertainment things that go into it, and like the tripod, and my makeup wipes, and stuff like that, um, it came out to, with tax, like 180 So all the little things, they just add up, you know? But. So this grocery haul was just kind of a filler, and I'm so glad you guys um, came over and checked out our, my grocery haul this week, and I will be cooking with you this week, so stay tuned, and I will see you guys again in the next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and those bell notifications so you know every time I upload a video. Bye!